Why'd you have to go eat that worm? I was trying to save it. You jerk. With your beak. I see you looking at me. I was trying to give it a second chance in life. When I went into my office, you came down and you plucked the life from it. Stupid jerk. I see you. And I know you live in that tree now. I came up from my car and I came walking up the driveway here. And I saw that there was a worm laying on the cement. So I felt sorry for it. It was a perfect worm. So I picked it up and I moved it to the grass. And I ran inside my office. I came in my office, walked down the hallway, got this cup and this pencil. Put water in the cup, take it back outside. Came back outside. And if you look over here, there's like a garden area. And I made mud. And I took this pencil and I jabbed the, the I made, made like a little mud pit with the pencil. It's all soft and muddy now. I was gonna go back and get that worm. And when I came back down here, I looked all over, everywhere. Couldn't find the worm. And then I heard the horrifying noise that all worms fear. And I saw that thing right there. A bird was looking at me. He was looking at me trying to help that worm and he's waiting for me to go away. And he's waiting for his chance to pounce on the worm and pluck life from that poor little worm. The only one to live and waller in the mud. Jerk! Look at you cheaping with your beak. You know what goes around comes around. There's gonna be a kitty cat waiting for you. Hey, where'd you go? Scared cat. If I would have come outside and seen that bird pluck that life out from that worm that I tried so hard to save, I would have been like, yah, 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 yah. <laughs> if I would have seen that bird come down and get that worm from the ground, I would have been like, yah, 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 yah. Oh man. <laughs> oh man.